Jackie and I know I haven't filmed a video in a while and I'm just so sorry about that. But I'm here today with my September favorites. I know I'm a little late on this. I always post my favorites videos the first of every month, but I'm a little late this time and I'm so sorry. I hope you guys can forgive me, but um, I've just been really busy and I lost my camera charger. I don't know where it is, so I don't know how long this video will last until my camera dies. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into my favorites, so let's get started. So, my first favorite is probably a product you guys have heard a lot of times in my videos, and it is the Revlon um, Color Burst Lipstick in Rosy Nude, and it looks like this. It's what I'm wearing right now on my lips as well, but it looks like that. This color is my absolute, absolute favorite color to wear during fall time. Not only is this my favorite lipstick ever, it's also a drugstore lipstick, so it's very affordable, so yay, very happy. I love this lipstick so, so much. It's been my go-to fall lipstick ever since last year, so yay. Okay, my next favorite is a powder that I have kind of neglected in my makeup like collection. This was actually one of the very first products I ever bought when I first started playing around with makeup, which was like over a year ago now, but um, it's by Physicians Formula and it's called Mineral Wear, um, no, Mineral Face Powder in Beige, and it looks like this, and this actually, this actually came in a set, like a little starter kit set, and I just love this powder, like, I know it's a foundation powder, but I use it to set my makeup and I just get like that extra coverage, and I don't know, I just really like it. It's, very natural and um, it's very light as well, but it it does give you like an added coverage, so I like that. And my next favorites, they go together, but first is the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Rose Petal. And it looks like this, because I use a stippling brush and so it just kind of looks weird after a while. But this is the color, Rose Petal. And I absolutely love this blush, I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell, the lighting is really weird. I'm kind of yellow in this lighting. But then I use that every day. And then on top of that, like right there where you see that shine, I use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in By Candlelight. And I know you guys have seen this a bunch of times, but that's because this is like truly like my favorite product ever from MAC. And then, sorry, the fans just turned on, so I might have to talk a little louder. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Okay, next a favorite of mine has been lashes. I, all of September, I have been loving false lashes and I've been wearing them all the time. And I'm wearing some today. They are just the um, half ones and they are actually Miss Adoro number 307s. That's just um, glue, lash glue. Sorry, I know that looks weird, but um, I'm wearing the half ones today, which I really like. I usually wear these ones to work because they're just really easy to pop on real quick. Um, but yeah, I really love false lashes and some other brands that I've been loving to wear are the e.l.f. ones which are only a dollar and these are the dramatic ones and I absolutely love these ones as well. They're very, very nice and I know they're, they're dramatic but they're, I don't know, I still like to wear them a lot. And then this one is super, super exciting because I actually featured this in my last tutorial I believe. And I'll have a link in the down bar for you guys if you want to check that out. But these are called Velour Lashes. And they are just like the fanciest lashes I have ever seen. But you just open it like this. You push it out. And then open it like that. And then you have your lashes in here. And this style is called Strike a Pose. And um, oh my gosh, they're just so pretty. And like there's a this is magnetic. Like that's just so fancy. Ugh, I love it. And they feel really natural. You don't even notice them. Um, I actually, oh, this is bad, but I almost went to sleep wearing them because I didn't really, like, I couldn't feel them. They were just so natural. But, anywho, I will have a separate video um, on, like, a review of the lower lashes if you guys are interested. So let me know in the down bar. I love these so much. And my next favorite is a product I am super, super excited about. I have been, like, eyeing this and planning to buy this for, I don't know, maybe a year now. Um, I've wanted this for the longest time and I finally, you know, saved up money to buy this and I also got a pretty nice discount at work. So, yeah, I picked up the Clarisonic Mia, the pink one, and 
Oh my gosh, I love this bad boy so much. I still use my same skincare um, routine, but I've just added the Clarisonic to it, and I've noticed a huge difference. Hi guys, okay, I'm super, super sorry. My camera died, so I didn't get to finish my favorites, so I'm just going to finish it up real quick on my MacBook. I'm, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. I just, I don't know where my camera charger is. But anyways, um, I left off talking about my Clarisonic, and I said I've noticed a huge difference um, to my skin ever since I started using it, but if you follow me on Twitter, you know um, kind of my problems I had with it at first, and when I first started using it, I started getting like a few pimples here and there, and I was like, what the heck, what's going on? And um, I talked to some people, and it's just because my skin wasn't used to such a deep cleaning, and all of the like, I guess, germs and bacteria are coming up to the surface, so that's why my skin kind of got worse before it got better. But now it's all good, and I absolutely adore my Clarisonic, and I even let Johnny try it, and he loves it too, so I'm actually going to buy him the green one um, for Christmas or something. And so yeah, that was that. And then my last favorite that I didn't get to film with my camera is has nothing to do with beauty or anything like that but it is actually um, green tea and I've been loving green tea so much and it was actually my friend Hart that got me into drinking green tea um, she mentioned it in one of her videos that she's obsessed now and I'm like I don't I don't remember exactly what I said but we were talking back and forth about it and she was just telling me how you know I need to force myself to like it because it's really good for you so I've been for like I kind of forced myself to like it I didn't like green tea at first but now I'm obsessed I love green tea I'm obsessed with like anything green tea like green tea ice cream green tea boba and now green tea like hot tea so I love it this is the one I have it's organic green tea from Trader Joe's and um, I didn't buy this one for any particular reason just any green tea will make me happy but yeah that has been a favorite and it's all because of heart she got me into drinking green tea so I know it's really healthy for you so I think I can't remember exactly what she said but I think it what it it helps your boost your metabolism and it helps um, uh, with like weight loss or weight control or anything like that and um, so yeah um, I'm obsessed with green tea, and I think that was all of my favorites, and I'm sorry I had to film this on my MacBook. Um, it's kind of weird filming on here again. I haven't filmed, like, on my MacBook and in this, like, um, location in, like, a long time. Um, you guys that watched my videos for a while, you probably remember this background. This is my room, but um, I film in the bathroom now just for the lighting and everything, but, okay. Anyways, enough talking. I gotta get to work now. Oh shoot, my work is calling me. Yeah, I really gotta get to work now. So I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'm so sorry it's late. So bye, have a magical day. Hello?